I think there's a massive problem with animal welfare in teaching in general. I've done quite a lot of work with different charities abroad, so I went and did quite a bit of stuff with working horses and donkeys with a charity called The Brook. Um, and they do incredible work, but a lot of organisations like that really use education to change traditional attitudes. And one time in Egypt, it was absolutely baking and there's this massive line of owners waiting to get their animals seen. And there was a vet doing the teaching to the kids. And then this owner had a, a horse that had a chain nose band or was hobbled. And it's one of the things they try really hard to get them not to do. And this little kid ran over with this laminated sheet that they'd just been given at school in the little school bit of it. Um, and he was, you know, rabbiting away in Arabic to this owner of the horse and pointing at his laminated sheet and pointing at the horse. And to this day, it's always stuck with me. Kids are so naturally empathetic that if you don't harness that somehow and use it for good, it's a, it's a real shame. Um, and I say, you know, one of the things it says in the book is that they can change the world. You know, kids might feel like they're not listened to or their opinion doesn't matter or people are too busy to sit down and talk to them. But actually, if all the kids learnt these things and did the right thing, pet keeping would change overnight. The fact is the grown-ups have messed it up for so long that we really need the kids to take over and, and get it right for the next generation.